Hi, I'm Senator Roy Blunt. In a few days, President Obama will deliver his sixth State of the Union address. According to recent reports, the President plans to use this speech as a kickoff for his so-called year of action. He intends to focus on income inequality leading up to the midterm elections this year. Uh, well, the President's right about at least one thing. Americans are hurting. Too many of the poorest Americans continue to suffer from stall job creation, skyrocketing federal debt, burdensome regulations, and broken promises on health care reform. What President Obama fails to acknowledge is that Americans are hurting as a result of his own policies. More than 10 million people are still unemployed nationwide. Another 2.4 million people want to work but have stopped looking for a job. And almost 8 million people have already been forced to take part-time jobs because they can't find the full-time jobs they'd like to have. This administration's agenda to create more government, more spending, more taxes, and more debt has created an inequality crisis of opportunity in our country. Those policies have been disproportionately hurtful to the poorest among us for the past five years. When he delivers his State of the Union address this week, the President has a lot of explaining to do. If all he has to offer is more of the same, or if he refuses to acknowledge that his own policies have failed to work, the President's simply doing what many failed leaders have done before him, trying to set one group of Americans against another group of Americans. We don't need more class warfare and we don't need more interference from Washington. No government program can replace what a good job means for the future of a family. Republicans are ready to turn these policies around and launch a year of action, starting with fixing our broken health care system. Every day I hear from Missourians who are dealing with increased costs, lost coverage, finding a new doctor, part-time jobs thanks to the President's health care law. The administration has decided which parts of the law to follow and which parts to delay. The President himself is forced to take back his promise that people could keep their plan if they liked it. Uh, this isn't the result of some website glitch. It's a law that's fundamentally flawed and it's hurting the very families who need affordable coverage and good paying full-time jobs the most. Let's work together to replace a plan that won't work with common sense solutions. Solutions like buying insurance across state lines and fair tax treatment for every health care dollar. We can also help jumpstart job creation for American workers by creating more economic certainty. No one wants to create a job or hire more people when they have un needless uncertainties about what the future holds. That's why we need to eliminate confusing and inefficient government regulations. I've joined Senator Angus King from Maine to introduce a bipartisan bill that does just that by streamlining, consolidating, and repealing costly and needless government regulations. We can also create economic opportunities for American workers by supporting increased domestic energy production. More American energy means more American jobs. The President's own State Department acknowledged that the Keystone XL pipeline is just one example, would create tens of thousands of jobs at no cost to taxpayers. Now, this project's been stalled for more than five years. It's time for President Obama to approve truly shovel-ready projects like Keystone to encourage private sector job creation. More American energy means more American jobs and not just the jobs to produce the energy, but also uh, when you provide predictable utility bills and a dependable delivery system, you encourage more American manufacturing and more American technology jobs as well. Republicans in Congress are ready for a year of action, ready to enact a pro-growth, pro-jobs agenda. The House has already passed a number of bills aimed at jump-starting the economy. Bills are stalled in the Senate that's controlled by Democrats and Majority Leader Harry Reid. The President says he has a pen to sign executive orders and a phone to rally support. The Congress should insist that he find the Constitution and follow it. President Obama can join us to grow the nation's economy and the nation's jobs, or he can continue pushing for more regulations, more taxes, higher utility bills, and health care turmoil, bad policies that hurt poor Americans the most. Mr. President, let's use the year of action to have a little less talk and a lot more action.